you can see there's already a mama rule up there the boss level 1000 she won't be in the fight immediately but you will see later this man is the most So he's saying the moment you enter you can see that you're naked, you're naked, you can go in and uh, you can just start a fight. He, he honestly advises going in four, but other players will be able to join you. There's a map here and you can see. The ticket is 5,000 cameras to enter, but as you can see, you can see there's already a mama rule up there, the boss level 1000. She won't be in the fight immediately, but you will see later. The moment everyone is ready. Here you haven't selected the archetype yet, but the moment you start the fight, you will be able to have an initial choice. Everybody will have the same choice. This choice will allow you to pick your initial spell depending on the archetype. So you pick the spell and the spell will dictate which archetype. So as we said, the magician, the first one is the healer, the debuffer, the buffer, the uh, it's good for your allies, it's really useful as a part of a team. The Dompter, the uh, um, Tamer, it's AoE, damage, big damage and stuff like that. And the Acrobat is the Positioner. As you can see, all around, there's little spikes all around that we've mentioned earlier. On the PowerPoint, where you will have to do stuff with them. So here, you pick... I will pick the Dompter, the Tamer, and you can see immediately your skin has changed. While being... I've gotten the cosmetics of the Tamer. Every character has its own set of cosmetics that you'll be able to buy in... Uh, you'll be able to see in the fight. You acquire them immediately. Yes, and these are the ones that you'll be able to buy at the end. There's a uh, shield, a weapon. I've used my MP in the... Empty now, but there's no problem. He has uh, dev spells, by the way. Normally, you only have two, but he has uh, admin spells, so he can show us some cool stuff. Here you can see, I've gotten an objective that he's moving right here, where I have to kill at least a troll, one of them, that has gone into the spiky areas and gone invulnerable. And here is where the tamer becomes really useful. I don't have placement spells. What, what you will see, at the start of every turn, you have a little choice. Depending on your archetype, you, get, you can make your, uh, your character stronger for the rest of the fight uh, in a much stronger way. And these, these choices right here, you get them as part of your class. And everyone, depending on their archetype, will pick a uh, spell. And there's new waves that arrive at the start of every turn. Now he's, uh, I'm using a dev spell that allows me to just one shot, but you won't have these. You'll only have the ones. Here, there's a gift on the map, as you can see. What is this? <laughs> Here, I can take this mob and by hitting him in a legitimate way, I can do 4,000, 5,000. Oh, the choice, the timer has a choice. A uh, what? Right, by putting him in the spiky area, he took some damage, and he's vulnerable, and he takes a lot more damage, and as you can see, you can do a lot more damage. If you get into the spiky area, I've seen this as a question in chat, you don't get one shot, but you get hit pretty hard. So, in order to validate the objective, you put him inside, and then you kill him. Boom. And it has validated the objective, and now it's given me... Watch this, the, the fight is paused, and now you have a global choice with all your uh, allies where you pick the next objective to realize and do. And there's loads of them. And there's some uh, that are more oriented towards certain archetypes. And as you can see, validating this objective allows you to gain a new spell depending on which archetype you're playing, right? And here you will be able to... Ah, oh, you can debuff the Mama Troll, as you can see, she was in state 5, every time you succeed in an objective, she loses one state, and loses final damage every time. And here you do the objective, so I'll pick this one, and there's a new interface, a new pop-up that comes up with the objective, telling me exactly what to do with it. So, what you have been able to see again, oop, I've just, <laughs> I just succeeded in the objective while cheating, <laughs> using... Uh, if there is a tie between the votes, then it will tie, and then it will randomly pick it. And here you can see earlier, there was a little glyph 
that has appeared in the field earlier. What some some appear that will change your placement, but these guys will give you some stylish buffs. So you can either enhance one of your spells. Oh, I didn't get that one. But you can either win a unique spell with one time use. One use. But it's crazy strong. The moment you use it, you'll no longer be able to use it. And it will disappear. So here, for example, uh, this one will do uh, neutral damage. And it will deal more damage if you don't use it. Wow. <laughs> this one, you land on an enemy and then it deals AoE or something like that. But as you can see, the spell is in my bar automatically. Boom. Yeah, so for people who are AFK, the, there will be a random choice if you don't pick one in particular. Here, oh, let's go. I've got a spell uh, amelioration or enhance, enhancement. So, uh, impact, the spell that I've had earlier that I've used, like the Crackler Punch. You can see that now the AoE goes to 3 from 2 to 3 and I can use it 3 times as opposed to just 2 times so this is an enhancement uh, otherwise I could uh, buy another one so here you either enhance one spell or you get unique spells which is really cool so it replaces my old spell and you can see look at that the AoE is so much bigger and it deals more damage oh let's go let's go <laughs> this is so much fun last time I said this I've hated myself for, for saying it but uh, if I say some rubbish, please stop me. This new system of synerization it with glyphs around. You can see that some glyphs will appear. Some cells will become dead in the map. And you can no longer clean them, click them. This is a topic that we have discussed. Uh, we'll t let's take the question. The terraformation, as we call the map thing. It's something that we want to do. So that it's not just the client. Client is linked to the server. Every time we add a new obstacle, that the entire server knows that there's an obstacle. It's a really big project. But what we want is for there to be a momentary sort of obstacle, like a rock that falls in front of you and becomes obstacle, without the entire server having to communicate with it and know that it exists. Or cells that disappear or holes that appear in the map or things like that. Whether we'll be able to do it or not, remains to be seen. But we would like to say that Unity facilitates this sort of things. So, yeah, that means later on, we will be able to fight. And hear me out. Papino has asked this question. This is Papino asking and they're having a laugh about it. <laughs> He's sort of pushing them in the right direction to say, to spoil the cool things. This means that later on, in normal dungeons that we have right now, we will be able to gain spells to fight that boss and things like that. So, the mama has arrived. She has landed at some point in the fight to help her little uh, children. <laughs> and you can see that she does a lot of damage. And this indicates the end of the fight or that there's uh, very little bo mobs to kill and that the fight is finished. So, there is an end to the fight. It's not the case that if you continue to survive, then it's infinite. Should I say how many there are? Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Starting from uh, wave 10, there are no more. Turn 10, there are no more waves, and you can finish at uh, uh, turn 10, 11. You've seen nothing, and I've won the fight. <laughs> He's used this developer. Uh, this is the cosmetics of the, um, the tamer, and they're all uh, camel. They change depending on your... Uh, they are this way because of my Osa scholars. Let me show you the magician skin here. Ooh, ooh. The time for you to present. I want to answer a question about the game score, which is a novelty that we had at the Japan Expo. We've talked about it before. Between us, I've answered this question a handful of times for those of us that were at the convention. The system, as it is right now, it's quite linear. If you do damage, you gain score and things like that. But we've worked with Cool to think about something a bit more complex and complete. But it was never our objective. With the Japan Expo, we've always wanted to bring the focus on the interface of choices, but didn't work the score as much. So it's definitely possible that it will come back in a format or another about some time later. So the interface of choice, we've pushed it because we knew that it will be useful. Whereas the score system, we'll just put it in there for the server uh, at the Japan Expo just to get the job done. But it's something that we will work on and reuse later, if I could reuse the word. 
later on, if we do raids or things like that and bring them to the game, it will be useful. It said the word raid. So I, I'll answer this question to avoid you asking it. Ladders, because this is a fight where you can quite easily imagine grind and uh, repetition. There won't be, there won't be any, um, any ladders. And in the future, if you have a score system that will mesh so well with a ladder system, but it's hypothetical, I want to stress. I'm not promising anything. It might be coming. These are reflections that we're having as part of the team. But yeah, we're thinking about it. Uh, yeah, we want to see teams collaborate and try and vote.